Hi, my name is Ryan McCullough here with an Ann Arbor Saline Music Center video. Are you new to playing the guitar? The first thing you need to do every time you play the guitar is tune your strings. In this video, I will give you three simple steps for tuning your guitar. Coming up. The first concept you'll need to know is what I call the music alphabet. Other people will call it the chromatic scale. Don't worry, you don't need to know the ins and outs of the music alphabet. You just need to know a few simple things. In Western music, we have 12 different notes. Seven of those notes have alphabet names. Those notes are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. When you get to G, you'll go back to A. The other five notes are chromatic notes. That means that they have two names for the same note. Huh? So take, for example, the note in between A and B. So this note is what is called A sharp, or the note above A. This note is also called B flat, or the note below B. In this case, sharp means above and flat means below. The next step is perhaps the easiest one. Memorize your guitar strings. I teach my students an acronym. Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. That was stupid. You shouldn't have done that. Play each string along with me and say the name of the string as well as the word from the acronym. The last and final step will be to grab your tuner and hook it up to your guitar. Here at the Ann Arbor Saline Music Center we use Starks. Um, they're quite affordable, they work rather well, and they're very easy to use. You can find a link to this particular product uh, just below. On the face of the tuner, this part right here, you'll see that there's an on button. You'll just click this on button and you'll notice that a little white line appears and that's how you know the device is turned on. You will clip this particular tuner to the headstock of the guitar. The first thing that you need to do is play a string, any string, um, although I'd recommend starting with a low E string. And when you play that string, you want to look at two things on the face of the tuner. The letter that is being registered, so it will come up as A, B, C, and sometimes that note will come up as one of those chromatic notes we were talking about, like C sharp. And then the other thing you want to look at is the range of the tuning of that note that is being registered. Above the letter, you'll see that there is this range of tunings that registers as different colors. When the pitch is too flat, it will be red. On the sharp side, the pitch will register as being yellow. You want for that pitch to be the given string, E, A, D, G, B, E, and in the center, and it will register as green. There are a couple tuning etiquette rules that many beginners tend to break. The first rule is don't tune your guitar with your guitar volume all the way up. Yes, I realized that I just did that very thing, but that's because I was trying to explain what I was doing and show you what I was doing through an amplifier. It's really annoying to listen to someone tune their guitar through an amplifier. Rule number two, as you're tuning a string, don't play the string over and 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 over again really, really quickly. It won't help you tune the guitar any quicker. And in fact, you probably won't reach a good tuning pitch for your string. Play the string once, let it ring for a couple of seconds and let the pitch register then turn your tuning peg a little bit at a time. And rule number three, do your best to just play one note. You're not going to tune your guitar any quicker if you play multiple notes at the same time. In fact, it will get really huh? confusing for both you and the tuner. You won't know what the actual pitch is that's registering. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video useful, give us a like below. You can check out our Facebook page and our Instagram page, or you can go to our website. If you have any other suggestions for videos, leave them below in the comments section.
If you have other tips for tuning your guitar strings, we'd also like to hear from you and leave them below. If you have any questions, that's the place to ask them, the comments section below.